everybody, Josh here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be covering several different cybersecurity jobs slash job titles, the skills that you need to get them, and then the median salary that you can expect with each area. This video actually comes from a viewer comment. The comment is from Ray, and they said you should do a video on the different positions in the cybersecurity job hierarchy, the salary range for each, what they do, and how to get either the education or certifications for each. I feel that would give people more inspiration to go after specific ones, and I think it's a really good request because there's so many different job titles and like requirements for all of them and it's kind of like a it's kind of like a free-for-all like employers just like make up titles and like all this like crazy stuff so so we'll start out with covering what the NIST NICE framework is we'll look at each cybersecurity job profile they list inside of there like the education requirements and whatnot and then we'll go to indeed and try to search for those specific jobs and kind of the compare the high and low end of the salary versus what NIST is saying is the median salary and then we'll talk about some of the certifications that I might recommend for some of these positions so yeah, it's a very it's a very interesting way to look at jobs in cybersecurity. So if you're excited to learn about some different job classifications, go ahead and smash the like button and we will go ahead and get started. So getting into NIST's NICE really quickly. NICE stands for National Initiative for Cybersecurity Education. It's basically created to help with the education for cybersecurity and kind of standardize a lot of the different things because there's a lot of different areas in cybersecurity, as you know, and NIST kind of built this program around it, which includes a lot of documentation. If, if you, you ever, ever want, want to read, read that, that, if you, you want, want to go, go to sleep, sleep at night. But what we're going to use for our video is just some cybersecurity job profiles that they came up with to show kids who might be interested in getting into the field. So let's get started. I'll put a link for this in the description, but I'll just go through these really quick and then I'll kind of jump into the spreadsheet where I map out the salary and, and all of those good things. There's only nine job profiles listed by them. I'll just go down these like real quick and then we'll jump into the spreadsheet. So first is cryptographer, like an actual cryptographer is like really math heavy and you're not going to see like a whole bunch of jobs with these and it's not going to be something that you can just like get into but cryptographer they're recommending like master's degree mathematics which makes sense median salary 100k which also makes sense because if you're doing actual cryptography you know it's like not that easy right and next one cyber defense incident responder this might be like categorized as like security analyst or something generic like this if you look at job descriptions they're saying that there's no degree or card median salary of, of 80k i mean this seems right enough a cyber forensics expert they're saying a degree is required for some reason in cybersecurity or computer science median salary of 70k i don't really ag agree with like almost any of the degree requirements on this but i'll just like you know go through them like really quick anyway next classification is cyber legal advisor which is like a, a doctoral level degree in law i think that's what this is i had one of these on my team like when i worked at king county they were like our chief privacy officer and they dealt a lot with like a hipaa and those compliance type things and privacy pretty cool but you know not everyone has this like level of degree and cybersecurity engineer one of the most like generic titles in our cybersecurity world they're recommending a bachelor's degree which i mean if you have a bachelor's degree it's probably easier to become a cybersecurity engineer you know whatever engineer means in, this, in our context i mean the median salary it looks well enough of course you can become this without a degree but information system security manager degree required yes i don't know about that but i i do agree like a lot of people in management positions tend to have degrees at least like a bachelor's degree this makes enough sense i kind of would expect this to be higher but you know median fair enough and multi-disciplined language analyst in the military or the navy this would probably be like CTI, like the cryptologic technician interpreter or something like this. Um, you go to language school for like, you know, however long you need to and you graduate and you become like this type of job right here. I'll say this is like pretty specialized. Software developer, I wouldn't say you need a degree for this, but a lot of devs tend to have degrees. A median salary is 70k. I feel this is like a little bit low for being a dev. Vulnerability assessment analyst, this would probably fall under like the generic kind of cybersecurity analyst position. I would expect to see something like this. You might see a title like vulnerability assessment analyst or something like this but this would this would be one of those kind of jobs that just like falls under analyst this kind of makes sense and i wouldn't i wouldn't think a degree would be required for this so this makes sense to me median median salary pretty much makes sense as well so jumping right into the spreadsheet i kind of made this spreadsheet based off of the nice job profiles so for example if you notice this column this is just like the job profiles listed out by nice that pdf we were just looking at so these are like all of the these are the job profiles as defined by nist nice and then these are some indeed searches that i felt kind of matched up with these profiles here and then i have a couple for the vulnerability assessment analyst profile i have like a couple different indeed searches here and then just to kind of explain this count indeed low and indeed high column really fast basically all this is so i'll take um this security analyst here i'll just copy this indeed search title colon quote security analyst paste it in here and then 
we can see like the job count here is 2668. That's what this is, 2668. I did this yesterday, so it's like slightly different. And then we can see like the salary estimate low is 70K, high is 110K. So low is 70K, high is 110K. That's pretty much all this is. I just went through and did that for like every single one of these. And then this nice one, this is just like the median income that was kind of shown on that PDF that we're looking at earlier. And then finally, this nice degree column over here. This is just basically like, this just corresponds to what was on the PDF we were looking at early, earlier. So for example, this is the vulnerability assessment analyst, aka vulnerability assessor, degree required, they just said no. And then that's what basically these are, it says no and no here. This isn't saying like, you need to have a bachelor's degree to be like a forensics analyst, or you need to have a bachelor's degree to be a cybersecurity engineer. This is just what was on the actual PDF we were looking at, kind of like a general, really high level guidance as far as like educational requirements so not a real life requirement it's just what was on the pdf so if you want to like sort these based on degree and kind of observe the salary and stuff for each one you might be able to derive some kind of like interesting information but it's not like a hard rule i just wanted to put it on the spreadsheet anyway so going back to the viewers comment they, they wanted to know like essentially like the salary range for each which I kind of we kind of have this here so i tried to i tried to take like the nist job profile and then kind of convert it into what i might expect to see in inside of indeed or some normal job searches so like information system security manager i just search like information security manager of course there can be like cyber security manager or like some other verbiage like this but cyber forensics commonly noticed did digital forensics so i, I kind of broke down like the salary like kind of what you can expect expect for these different job profiles this is not going to be, going to be exactly perfect because people like make up their cl own classifications all the time i just kind of did my best to map the nice profiles with like what we see like in the wild so you can kind of get a sense for like the the low end and the high end for each of these profiles these job profiles outlined by nice and then also ray wanted to know what the individual jobs do and like how to get the education and certification for each one this can kind of be derived from the the pdf here although it like really depends so for example, like if you want to be an incident responder, I can just make up something off the top of my head. I think that like most people like in security um, should at least have like security plus knowledge. And for me, like having CSSP like really helped me like be able to get interviews because that's like the ultimate kind of search for HR and kind of like aside those two things, you might get something that's like really specific to these like individual things. So for example, like incident response, if you have a million dollars, you could get like the GAIAC certified incident handler certification from SANS, or you could go with something like you know, a little bit more affordable, like CompTIA, CISA, or CISA, or however you pronounce that. And maybe even like a free certification, like the, the ICS 100, something like this for incident response. Uh, vulnerability analyst, um, again, you know, security plus those kind of like basic ones. And then maybe if you want to go hard, get like CISA, CISA, CompTIA, CYSA plus, I think they cover vulnerability stuff in there. Um, you could also do this lab kind of helps you, you know, get a, get a handle on how to do vulnerability management. As far as software developer, um, of course, you know, there's like W GU programs for this, like the software development program or the computer science program. I have a video that kind of breaks down both of these. I have the computer science degree. You don't want to if you don't want to get a degree, there's like a lot of like really good programs out there where like that will help you learn how to code and develop things. Like I personally recommend Code with Mosh all the time. I, I've used him like quite a bit. I'll put some links in the description. Uh, Cyber Forensics. I don't really know about like any really good forensic certifications. I have a bunch, but they were like from my community college. And I know like EC Council has like CHFI, but you know, I don't really, you know, EC Council is EC Council and I tend to like not recommend them to people, but I can't really speak too much on forensics. I've done it quite a bit academically, but as far as like certifications, like I don't, I don't really know, to be honest. Um, the, I know there's like big forensics com communities like all over the place. So, you know, just maybe look on Reddit or something. Um, cybersecurity engineer. This this is again like kind of an ambiguous title but you know of course like security plus cissp for the baseline and then just add on to their like whatever you want to do depending on the type of engineer you want to be like if you want to be some kind of like production like operation like security operation center in engineer maybe you want to like on top of your security base maybe you want to add like really good python skills or something like that into like kind of increase your automation capabilities or be able to build tools or something like this it just kind of depends on like the area that you want to work in as far as certs go like if you want to get a cert i mean again it kind of depends um but but some like offensive security thing like you know oscp or even ejpt would be useful oscp is nice because you kind of learn like at least i did i don't have oscp but i studied for it like you kind of learn some scripting and automation in there and it might it might end up being being useful 
um, to even have like OSCP or some some kind of cert like this as a security engineer. And then as far as like information system security manager goes, um, of course, like CISSP, I would recommend maybe like CISM or CISM, however you like to say that some some of those kind of mainstream information security management certs. I'll probably get a degree to be honest, if you want to get into management, it's going to make your life like much easier. Um, so get a degree from WGU if you just want to you want it to be fast, you know, get this, you know, information technology management degree pretty quick. I made a video on it, check it out. Uh, language analyst you you might want to like type navy cti and then see like what you should do if you want to get this job in fact i'll just do it now i was like thinking about um even doing this because i thought it was like pretty cool but you can check this out i'm not telling you to go join the navy or something but um the navy they do have like a program you you know you go to like your recruiter and like do all this stuff and then you end up you have to take like a language aptitude test you don't even actually have to be able to speak the second language you'll take like a, an aptitude test with like a fake language to like gauge your pattern recognition and like other cognitive abilities that matter for like language learning and then based on like how well you do on it you get placed in with like a category one through five language and then you know if you're really good then they'll have you learn like you know cat five language like arabic or like chinese or something like this it's pretty cool it's pretty cool you like go to language learning school and you get paid to learn a lot, another language you get a security clearance good to go but you know of course you'll be in the the military so there's that this is like really cool to be honest the the pay like looks low apparently but looks dope anyway uh cryptographer this is like some like high speed sh this is not not something that some normal person just goes and does it requires like a lot of like complicated mathematics and like all of this good stuff but it's pretty cool to be like an actual cryptographer working on like actual crypto systems pretty dope go and get your master's in mathematics i guess i don't know what else to like say beyond this and then cyber legal advisor you know go get a doctorate or like what is that the juris doctorate is that how to pronounce that you know again not something you just like jump into but you can make a lot of coins i've worked with one of these people before they're really smart and when she talked i again i felt like i had to put my like thinking cap on to like understand like what she's saying hopefully that helps a little bit i know it's like really really hard to be like these are the jobs that you can do in security and like how much you can get expect to get paid it's like it's kind of impossible thing to do because there's like so many different ones and people making up stuff like all the time but i hope this like helps a little bit at least you know like if you didn't know that nice existed like now you kind of know and then now you kind of like you know can go and research it on your own a little bit and see like what else you can learn of course, as always, I'm super interested to hear like what other people have to say about this because I know like the information I gave in this video is like not that good just because it's like really hard to it's really hard to do because there's like so many different ones. So please share your thoughts and opinions and criticism in the comments section. I really appreciate it. I'll definitely read all the comments, definitely respond to them. Also, I do have a Patreon if you feel like supporting me or the channel. I just want to give a super shout out to all my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting me and for everybody else. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.